Jose Zuniga or Alex Costa, who has the best men's lifestyle YouTube channel? Today, we're finding out. What's up, gentlemen? So welcome to the first official YouTube channel battle where I am pitting two incredibly popular YouTubers in a specific area or genre of YouTube against each other. Today's battle is against YouTube legend Jose Zuniga and Alex Costa. A little bit fresher onto the men's lifestyle scene, but equally as impressive. So here's how the YouTube channel battle is gonna go down. I've created 10 specific categories and we are gonna rate each YouTuber in the category on a scale of one to 10. At the end, we're gonna total all of the scores and we are gonna have our champion of the YouTube channel battle men's lifestyle. If this sounds good, gentlemen, why don't you start by dropping me one of these to be like, yo, Alpha, this is kind of intriguing and I'm excited. Before we get started, gentlemen, a little tale of the tape action. All right, in one corner, you've got Jose Zaniga. The age is 26 years old. In the other corner, you've got Alex Costa. His age, 32. Jose Zaniga stands at a towering six foot two. And, and real, real, real story. The first time I ever met Jose, I was like, my God, you're so much taller than I thought you would be. He's like, that's what everybody says. Jose is a tall specimen of a man. Alex Costa, a little, little shorter, a little closer to my stature, five foot eight. Jose Zaniga started posting YouTube videos eight years ago. He's a veteran, but when I actually looked at Alex's channel, I was shocked. He also started eight years ago, but the interesting thing is that Alex Costa, when he started, was actually talking about gaming. Alex was a gamer. The first bunch of Alex's videos were all about gaming. They also were not in English, which is something both YouTubers have in common. They are bilingual. And last but certainly not least, let's talk about subscribers. Jose Zaniga with a staggering five million. Alex Costa closing in on him though with three million, both incredibly impressive and hard to do. Now, gentlemen, let's get down to the channel battle. The first category that I'm rating these guys on is quantity. All right, in terms of how many YouTube videos they're actually putting out and cranking out, all right? Jose Zaniga has over like 1,500 videos since he started. He is putting out like five to six videos a week. Alex Costell, on the other hand, has around 750 videos that he puts out, and on average, it's around three to sometimes four a week. And so in this category, I'm gonna give a score of 10 to Jose Zaniga and a score of seven to Alex. But now let's talk about the next category, which is quality. All right, quality in my opinion is basically like cinematography, the edits, the sexiness, right? And in this one, I've got Alex Costa edging out Jose Zaniga. I'm gonna give Alex a nine for quality. The quality of his content has increased. He's doing incredibly sexy stuff. Jose, I'm gonna give a six. And just for the record, if I were to rate like my quality of like video, I'd probably be like a three. Next category is originality. Who is putting out the most original content, all right? This one, I'm gonna give it to Jose Zaniga. He is an OG in terms of content. Alex Costa has gotten into the men's like lifestyle game a little bit later, all right? I'm gonna give Jose an eight. Alex Costa, I'm gonna give a five. And the reason I'm giving him a five is that a lot of Alex's titles are very similar to some of the other titles that are out there from other men's lifestyle influencers. But that being said, we all steal from each other. So next up, we're gonna talk about style advice. Now for this one, because there's so many different facets of style and that's really the majority of the content that we put out, I decided to actually make like three categories within style. Three categories of style are gonna be casual slash street. We've got bad boy, and then we've also got dressy slash formal. So in terms of casual slash street style, I'm gonna give Jose Zaniga a nine out of 10. Alex Costa, I'm gonna give a six out of 10. And the reason is because Alex Costa does a lot of like casual style, but it's not to the level of casual slash street that Jose does. Jose has a lot of incredible content revolving around like sneakers, more like hype beast type stuff. And I really feel like his content and style resonates more with the younger demo. Alex Costa also does a lot of great casual content, but in terms of like offering like street style and more like diverse content, um, I'm definitely thinking that Jose is the winner in this category. The next one, we gotta go with bad boy style. When it comes to bad boy style, the jeans, the jackets, just looking like super badass and bad boy, I'm gonna give this one to Alex Costa. I'm giving him a nine out of 10. Jose Zaniga though, is getting a seven. Both have a very like masculine bad boy ruggedness about them, but in my opinion, Alex is a little bit more rugged, a little bit more bad boy in terms of his style aesthetic than Jose. And last category is formal slash dress. All right, Jose Zaniga is gonna get an eight out of 10. Alex Costa is going to get a six. Now, that being said, Jose Zaniga has an advantage over everybody. And the reason is because he's six foot two. He's also built like a model. And so every 
Every single thing I've ever seen the dude wearing looks amazing. In terms of what style content you are gonna resonate with more, it's really dependent upon you and your aesthetic. If you're a little bit younger, you're probably going to err on the side of Jose. If you're a little more like older, wanna look a little more bad boy, you're gonna go Alex. The next category is grooming advice. Both YouTubers make a lot of content revolving around grooming, but nobody, but nobody makes more than Jose Zuniga, all right? There are more grooming hack videos than I, I can count, gentlemen. He is definitely gonna get a 10 when it comes to grooming. Alex Costa is putting out a lot of grooming content, more hair content, which we'll talk about in a second. So Alex is gonna get a seven. The next category, we have hair, which brings us to today's video sponsor, Pete and Pedro. So as you guys know, I have a grooming company called Pete and Pedro. Not only do we have amazing hair products, we also now sell incredibly sexy, amazing fragrances. Gentlemen, if you are in the market for a new hair product or maybe a sea salt spray to add a little lusciousness, a little volume, you gotta hit that link down below. Now, if you're not sure what Pete and Pedro product is gonna be best for you or your hair, we also have something cool. It's a hair product recommendation tool. All you do is tell us the hairstyle you're going for, how much hold and how much shine, and we will make a custom recommendation for you. Now, if I would recommend any product for you, I would definitely go with the Putty. The Putty is our top selling hair product. It's incredibly versatile. It's a high hold, low shine product. You combine this with a sea salt spray, forget about it, your hair, amazing for days. Speaking of amazing, if you are in the market to smell incredible, gentlemen, you gotta check out the new incredible EDP fragrances by Pete and Pedro. These things have been getting rave reviews. Fragrance Rebel was inspired by Creed Aventus, my all-time favorite fragrance. The amount of compliments you're gonna get from wearing Rebel is ridiculous. This is not a clone, but if you like Creed Aventus, you're definitely gonna love Rebel. Also, Hero, something light, a little fresher. This is inspired by Aqua de Jo, except we made it a little stronger. We also tweaked it a little bit and gave it a little more sass, a little more edge. You guys are definitely gonna love this. And the newest addition to the Pete and Pedro fragrance family is King, inspired by Creed's Green Irish Tweed. This stuff is ab absolute freaking perfection. This stuff smells ridiculous. We also have deluxe samples available in all three incredible fragrances. So if you're not ready to pull the trigger on like a big bottle, even with that amazing discount code down below, and by the way, if you buy all three or a set, you're going to save a bunch of cash and with that discount code, ridiculous. But you can also buy a combination of all three of the signature scents in a deluxe sample. Guys, all the information will be listed and linked down below along with an amazing discount code. All right, so back to business. In terms of the hair category, I'm like, it's not even like Alex Cox. Alex Costa also has a hair product company. He also has amazing hair. Now they both have amazing hair, but Alex's hair, like he's grown it out a little bit. He plays around with like highlights and lowlights and Brazilian blowouts and all sorts of stuff. He puts out a ton of incredibly high quality hair content. Jose also has a ton of incredible hair content out there, but in terms of comparing the two hair content, it's like Alex all day. And so Jose is gonna get a five for hair. The next category is fitness. And honestly, fitness and diet, we're gonna bunch that together. And this was one of the hardest, if not the hardest, categories to judge them on because they both put out amazing content. Alex Costa does a lot of incredible like workout videos. Jose Zaniga also a lot of incredible workout videos. Both of them talk about diet, what they're eating. And so this one honestly is a tie. They both get eight. So the next category is dating. Who is putting out the best dating content? Honestly, I think Jose. Jose, I'm gonna give a nine out of 10. Alex, I'm gonna give a six. And the reason is because Jose is consistently putting out a ton of videos about dating, talking to girls, different tips and tricks. Alex also puts out videos about like dating and girls and talking to them, but it's not to the level or quantity of Jose. And in my opinion, Jose's is a little better. The next category we have is what I call personal. And by personal, I mean, how much do you feel like you know about the creator when you actually watch their video? How much are they like divulging about themselves, their emotions, their history? You know, if, if I were to break myself on this one, I would probably go with a 10, right? I talk a lot about my history, my struggles, and sort of what I've dealt with, everything from, you know, abusive stepfathers to bankruptcy to just life in general. And um, in my opinion, I think Alex like slightly edges out Jose in this one. So I'm gonna give Alex a seven. I'm gonna give Jose a six. But that being said, both creators have amazingly inspiring stories. You know, where Jose came from versus where Alex came from, they both have overcome great adversity to become like crazy successful entrepreneurs and YouTubers. And so, you know, both of these dudes have just amazing stories. Like, it's just amazing to see like, 
how when you're challenged, if you have the integrity, if you've got the work ethic, if you can get out of your own way and decide to be successful and not allow your past to define who you are, it's incredible to see where you can get to. And Jose and Alex both have incredible stories and have overcome great adversity. And I just think, you know, both of these dudes are incredibly solid dudes, which brings us to the final category, which is positive message. Which creator sends the most positive message to his subscribers? And this one, once again, was absolutely dead even. They both are amazing in terms of the message that they're sending to you guys, to you young guys, to you old guys. They both are gonna get a 10 in the category of positive message. One of the things I love about the men's lifestyle community is that nobody talks trash about other people. We're not there talking like nonsense about other people. We are all here to lift you guys up and to make you be the best versions of yourself you can be. I know that that saying is cliche, but the bottom line is we are here to help you. And I think Alex and Jose both you know, they just really exemplify, you know, a positive message. The world needs more Jose Zanigas and Alex Costas, in my opinion. They are incredible role models and inspiration, not only to me, but to millions and millions and millions of people out there. And so, with a heavy heart, I do have to declare a winner. But I didn't screw it up. I believe the total for Alex Costa is a 90. And Jose Zaniga, drum roll please, gets a... 96, which means Jose Zaniga teaching men's fashion is today's YouTube channel battle champion in the area of men's lifestyle. But do you agree? Is my analysis of the situation correct? Gentlemen, down below, I want to know in the comments who you feel is the best men's lifestyle channel out there. Is it Jose Zaniga or is it Alex Costa? Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you dug this series, why don't you drop me one of these? And if you want me to battle two additional YouTube channels together, why don't in the comments you also tell me who it is, this person versus this person? Because if I get enough people to actually watch this video, if you guys dug it, you dug the format, you dropped enough one of these, we will definitely do it again. But in today's battle, Jose Zaniga is the champion.